G'day folks. Oh, welcome to a quick little update on the generator. Um, as you can see, I've got it. Uh, there's uh, a lot of work to be done, and including moving it over far enough and moving this over far enough I can get my trailer in and out and get enough steel to put it on, basically on wheels, get enough steel tubing and uh, a couple of trailer axles from the junkyard. Um, there's a lot to be done on it. It's not in as good a condition as I thought it would be. Uh, the whole brushes thing was a bit of a lie. It's not brushes, it's actually got a burnt winding. But it's still going to put out probably 415 volts in two, like between two pairs. It's just dropped a phase essentially. So it's not useless, but it's just not full three phase unfortunately. But it's still a really cool buy. It's got a pretty stout little diesel engine on it. Uh, probably 1950s-ish. The company um, Kemper pretty much disappeared in the 1950s. It was bought by DMAG. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. But either way, I'm still going to try and explain what I'm going over with it at the moment. Unloading it was fun too. This thing's a lot heavier than it looks. And a lot heavier than they said it was. I mean, poor old uh, Bluey Rav uh, smelt like very hot clutch by the time I managed to drag it off. But, and that was using like nylon rollers and nylon skids, like low, really low friction stuff. It still took a lot of effort to get this off. But it's here now and it's blocking my carport. <laughs> I might have bitten off more than I could chew with it, but either way, I'm going to get it going. And in the next video you'll see will, will be me starting it and then I'll also upload one of some of the checks that I'm going over. I'm um, doing basically safety checks, especially concerning diesels, they can go run away. Well, one of the things I'm going to do is unbolt this air cleaner and take that off completely and just basically have a, a hard piece of plastic with a piece of uh, rubber screwed to it and just in case I can slam it onto the intake and snuff it as much as I can. Even uh, someone, a friend of mine suggested uh, carbon dioxide just in case but I have turned it over a couple of times with the batteries and the injection pump does not work in what I believe to be the stop position I'm yet to try it in the run position with the um, the flare nuts undone just to see if it spits fuel out but everything seems to be all right it's all there the exciter's fine it's just inside here some of these windings or at least one of the windings one of the combinations is not like the other ones I've got two combinations, which are 50 ohms each. It's pretty seems pretty standard, should be about right. And one of them's nine ohms. I think it's the center phase, the one they've been loading with this single phase here. I think they have overloaded one phase. Instead of having three separate single phases and splitting them up, they've gone one single phase plus a couple of three phase and blown one winding through imbalance. And that's a pretty common mistake people make with uh, three-phase generators and even just three-phase supply. It creates a serious issue. So yeah, part of the safety check is basically making sure that the, um, the governor the fuel shutoff works, which is what I'm doing. I've got the flare nuts cracked at the moment so I can crank it without, even if the pump does suddenly go full on, it's just going to spit fuel out here instead of firing into the cylinders and just going run away. That would not be fun. <laughs> I'm sure it'd make for good views, but it wouldn't be fun. But I'm also flushing fuel through. I've gone through and primed everything. There's a primer there, clean the primary strainer. Um, primer itself leaks fuel. Everything leaks fuel in this, but pump fresh fuel through, cracked all these drains, got any, there's just a tiny little dribble of water and mud in the bottom of them, probably from decades of neglect. No major amount of water. New battery cables, uh, clean the starter up. Again, washed, it's had fuel drip through it over the years, even with this rubber O-ring on it, so I've just washed it out with uh, naphtha and compressed air. I like the little brush, uh, the brushes even have their own little uh, metal shields over the, uh, the wires. Yeah, so just basic safety checks, make sure there's a way to stop it, make sure there's a way to start it reliably. Um, pulled the little drain dingus down there and uh, bit of sludge and stuff came out but no water so there's no water in the sump there's still oil in the sump it's sort of within safe operating range it's not the best oil but again the drain wasn't completely clogged with with gunk and the top end is not 
um, all uh, gunked up. What do you call it? You call it um, sludge. It's not all sludged up. Actually looks pretty good. It's still got a little lead and wire seal on the some of the bolts. Even here there's a little lead and wire uh, seal. Yeah, I've got no idea how many hours this has run. There's no hour meter on it. I'd be willing to bet not many. Uh, the exhaust definitely had a little bit of moisture go down it, but no major water into the cylinders, like it wasn't locked up. But I can hear some of the exhaust valves might have a little bit of surface rust on them that'll have to be worn off just through basically fire it up, give it give it full revs for a bit and just let it settle down. It might clean itself out. But yeah, it's not too bad. Looking pretty good. Main thing is moving it. It was a bit of an effort getting it off, and uh, even the poor little turret lathe looks like a toy compared with this thing. I mean, getting this off was actually quite easy, despite how top-heavy it was. I had to be a bit more cautious with this, but this is just heavy, really heavy. And there's a tiny little 16-amp uh, air-cooled diesel by comparison. <laughs> little baby 16-amper needs to be cleaned up and run again. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I'm going to work out some software stuff on video editing again, and uh, I'm, going to, I'm ditching Adobe. It's like thirty dollars a month. I'm just not using, so I'm going for free stuff again, and uh, we'll see how we go. Hmm? Good puppy. Yeah. Thanks for watching.